Hello there, this is Bethany, retired funeral director turned dog groomer. Nine months ago, my man friend, our daughter and myself, left our comfortable and established lifestyle in Ontario, Canada, for a life we always chatted about during morning coffee, fast-tracking our retirement plans, chasing our dreams, risking our future in the race against old age, we purchased seven unseen acres in the wilderness of Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia. We downsized everything we owned, loaded up a trailer, our dog, two cats, ATV, and hauled it to our new land. What we knew for sure was our life was about to make a drastic change. What we didn't know was that we were relocating to the most gorgeous place we've ever seen. We took a chance and it was worth it. Join us as we navigate through our new RV lifestyle, new climate, new landscape, new wildlife, building a world we dreamed of in a place only seen in postcards from the ground up. Thanks for visiting and subscribe to my channel if you would enjoy the content of a 40-something gal running away into the woods with her family. It is cold today. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. Why is it so pretty? Woo wee. I love the sound of the wind coming over those mountains. It is just awesome. Just taking my 30 second commute to work right now. <laughs> Whew, chilly. It's just really interesting weather around here. You know, one day it's warm and things melt. It's like spring, it's January. <laughs> And then the next day, I'm just going to run up to the RV for a minute. I don't know why this pump is going. I haven't even been inside. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, there's nothing going on up at the RV. Water pump is going. sort of one thing after another these days. I don't know why that water pump keeps running. Perplexing. Makes me nervous. I do have work to do here. Okay, I unplugged the water pump. It just didn't seem right. My gut's telling me something's wrong with it. Ugh, and I have a dog to groom this morning, a big dog that needs a bath. But I did unplug the pump. It just smells like it's been running, you know, too long. So I just, ugh, I just have my life on pause for just a moment. <laughs> One thing after another. <sighs> Well, I guess I'll just, I don't know, when I unplugged it, it kind of, it was almost like it was, oh, here's man friend. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, it, there's a chance I'm going to go out into the pump house uh, where the water is. I'm just going to turn the heat up a little 
higher in there. I'm, we're worried it's not drawing water. Uh, I actually think it's not drawing water from inside the water house. So I, I turned the heat up in there a little bit. <sighs> Hopefully it'll thaw that out. I, I kind of squeezed the line and it just felt slushy a little bit. So it could be the problem. We don't want to burn out our water pump. So I'm just in a pickle now because I don't want to turn the pump on right now. And I have dogs to groom. I don't know what to do. <laughs> So the heater is running. It is warming up in here. It's this line. And it does, it does almost feel like it could be not drawing water. So I gotta keep this door closed and let that room warm up. It's just difficult this month. This month has been harder. <laughs> I love winter. Like, I love winter. I love snow. I love cold. I love it all. I do love it here in the winter. It's beautiful, but everything's just harder in the winter. <laughs> Even just leaving your place, you have to bundle up, go to your destination, unbundle. I'm constantly bundling up. I basically wear my snowsuit everywhere I go around here because I'm in and I'm more outside than inside. But. Yeah, just everything is a bit harder right now. Just gotta keep staying, we gotta stay positive. Like spring is very close. I can't even believe, what What are we, fit in the January 19th, I think today. I mean, we're almost to the end of January. <laughs> and then we have all of February. Oh. And people that aren't in RVs or living, you know, semi off grid, even those, even other normal people. <laughs> have these problems of frozen lines and stuff, frozen pipes. I don't know, I think it is, I think it's frozen a bit. So we're just gonna let that water hopefully warm up, that room warm up. And then I'll make a decision in an hour. <laughs> so these are my clippers. I have blades that go on them. And I've sent most, like 95% of my blades are now at the sharpeners and three of my shears. And what I have left is minimal. <laughs> and the more I use them, the more dull they get. So I need my other ones back. I need backup. I don't have backup. This sucks. So many things I've learned about grooming in the forest <laughs> on an island in the middle of the North Atlantic. Oh boy. Well, I'm ready for my day. There is a question that I get often, a lot of times, two questions I get. Maybe I will address them here, just, <laughs> just because a lot of you are curious why I call my guy uh, two things, mooch and man friend. <laughs> So I'll address the Mooch thing. First, I'll tell you his real name. His real name is Julian. <laughs> when he was very young, like just starting to walk, basically, um, he's always been like a really good eater. You know, he loves food. He like loves food. And um, when he was young, when he was a kid, um, his mom started calling him Mooch because after dinner or were they sitting around the dinner table after dinner he'd go around everybody's space and ask if they were going to eat the rest of their food because he was going to eat it <laughs> and so he just got the nickname when he was a little kid um for being a little mooch he's mooching food 
Um, and he still, as an adult, likes to sit with the young kid at the young kid table because he knows they won't eat all their supper. So he'll just eat the rest. <laughs> when we go out for dinner, I if I can't eat the rest of my food, he will gladly eat the rest. So he's just a mooch for food. He loves food. When I first met him, my aunt, who kind of um, connected us together a little bit, man friend and I, uh, he, she said, do you know a guy, you know Mooch? And I was like, no, I don't know anybody named Mooch. <laughs> like Mooch all my money kind of a Mooch. In our area, we grew up in like Norfolk County of Southwestern Ontario. Um, everybody had nicknames, everybody. Um, I Everybody I know has a nickname basically. So, you know, he's just known as Mooch. And if you call him Julian, like he gets called Julian at work, obviously. They, he knows it's more, you know, that they, it's just a professional thing. <laughs> so that's the Mooch thing. The other thing is man friend. Um, I started calling him my man friend a long, long time ago. There was one day I was watching an episode of uh, there was a show on TV and the girl referred to her boyfriend as man friend and I thought that was so funny because they weren't married but they had a huge long history and so it, there was it was more than a boyfriend but not a husband I said to Mooch huh you're like my man friend you're you're more than a boyfriend but not a husband we're not married so he's definitely more than just a boyfriend and you know, the odd time I do refer to him as my hubby. Sometimes you'll hear me say that, like my hubby. Um, I don't feel right saying husband. <laughs> Pump's working now, no problems. Okay. Yeah, it feels better. Uh oh. Hmm. came very close to blowing our pump up <laughs> so it was a little bit of a faulty heater not faulty but there's a little button underneath the heater that even if the heater tips a little it'll shut off which is a safety feature we like that but it was uh, what it's sitting on is some sheet metal and it was just bowed a little bit and it just kept triggering the thing so <sighs> that was a really stressful morning but it's fixed now we, we swapped out the heater. I swapped it out thinking that the heater was broken. <laughs> and then once we swapped it out, realized the other one wasn't broken. So we just kept that one up at the RV. So we have a backup one. Water line was near frozen. It wasn't completely frozen, but it was near frozen. So it thawed out very quickly. Everything is good. I just checked in there. It actually got a little bit warmer outside. That's probably why it's such a beautiful snowfall today. A few cords of wood that we had chopped up and delivered. So um, we had actually ordered that a long time ago um, and we do have access to other firewood that we've been, that we've purchased sort of like a group of group effort. <laughs> Everybody pitched in and got so much wood and then, but we have to grab it, cut it, split it, bring it home. So this one was cut, split and delivered and dumped right on our land, which is, 
awesome. <laughs> so we made a nice pile by the shop, the man shop. We filled up inside the shop, filled that the two racks up. And then we have this other pile over by the fire pit outside. And that's what I'm going to work on today and tomorrow. I'm just going to keep piling wood, get it covered up. The winds have died completely down, so I haven't been able to unravel the beside the shed. I already have some wood started piling there, but there's a tarp over it and I've had it covered and protected really well. And I was worried if I lifted it during the winds, it would just like mess up my whole tarp system and then I wouldn't be able to rewrap it. So I decided to wait till the winds die down. It's a gorgeous day, not one bit of wind. Oh, I think yesterday was the first day, like after the the water thing yesterday was like the first day that I was like oh I'm really looking forward to spring <laughs> I just want to I'm getting the itch to like do a deep spring clean on the RV you know open windows wash walls floors empty things restock clean you know just really get into the meat of cleaning but it's too cold to do that right now so, but we're almost near the end of January already. I can't believe it. Like, so one more harsh month, February. March is one of those iffy months too in Canada, right? We all know that. We could still have snow and cold days, obviously, but by March you're into that spring mode, you know? So we just have to get through February. It's, we're rounding the bend slowly. found mine seeing you for the first time at Uncle Rick and our Bonnie's that's the start of our love story bringing me all those drinks at that bucking door noticing you noticing me mooch I hope you
destroy this life we've built Our legacy Our legacy